Hello, friends. My name is Steve Guttenberg, and I am the Audiophiliac. But today's show is going to be an experiment, an AI experiment. It's the beginning of something potentially really big, and that is to do AI versions of the Audiophiliac. I mean, it's early days. I'm still learning how to do this. I'm, I've uploaded all of my videos, all of my written content for online and print magazines. It's all in there. And anyway, yeah, it's going to be rough going. There's going to be mis mistakes will be made, no doubt. But anyway, in today's show, uh, some little bits and pieces of it will be the AI version of me. <laughs> so that's incredibly cool. It's an experiment, right? Let AI make these video reviews and episodes for me. Now, it's, I haven't done any yet, but I'm getting closer and closer to that being a reality. So I, it's an exciting thing because first of all, I need a break. I've been making videos for six and a half years and it would be nice to every now and then let the AI make an entire episode or a segment of an episode to give me some Give me some space. <laughs> so that's really cool. Matter of fact, just the other day, I had Chat GTP write just a written review as Mrs. Audiophiliac of the Quad ESL 57 electrostatic speaker. And it's really good. It's funny, actually. I I'm going to try to figure out how to post that on my community page here. But anyway, it's I'm learning. I'm learning. AI is learning how to be a better me. I mean, for one thing, its hearing will extend out to 20K. Uh, mine certainly does not. The AI version of the Audiophiliac will have perfect hair, not a hair out of place, every, in every single video. The AI version of the Audiophiliac will not have wrinkled shirts. No, every shirt will look pristine. pristine. As a matter of fact, the AI version Audiophiliac will have a different shirt for every episode that sort of complements the content of each episode. Yeah, I, I couldn't do that in real life. Uh, so there's going to be huge advantages to my audience when they get to experience the AI version of the Audiophiliac. The AI Audiophiliac will also conduct interviews with people. And I hate doing Zoom calls and stuff, but the AI version of the Audiophiliac will just be able to appear in wherever the interview subject is and do the interview in person. That'll be really cool. Matter of fact, the AI Audiophiliac will be able to go into your homes and do viewer systems of the day live in your home. That'll be super nice. It's like I'm actually there in your home and pointing the camera to different pieces of gear and having a discussion with the audiophile in their natural environment. Yeah, all of this and so much more is possible with the AI version of the Audiophiliac. You know what? I can't be the only one. I can't be the only one with this idea. I'm sure there are other YouTube channels further along on this road creating AI content. I'm not the only one. And in all sorts of channels, but specifically in this area of audiophile reviews, yeah, I think some of these guys are already doing it. And I'm not going to mention, I don't want to name any names, but if you have any idea, of other audio review channels that create uh, AI content, using AI to create new content, please uh, tell me your guesses in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys. And speaking of content, yes, it is now time for the Audiophiliac viewer system of the day. This is Nathan's system. He lives in Dartmoor, that is in England. And there's some serious DIY action going on in this system. Turntable is entirely DIY. It's a combination between being a suspended design and solid plinth deck, plus a dedicated isolation platform. The linear tracking arm's first bending mode is well above 20K, resulting in a very clean sound. The cartridge is an Ortofon Quintet Black S moving coil. The phono stage is a highly modified Michel ISO HR. Preamp is also from Michel. It's an Argo HR, also highly modified. Power amplification is a Palon Audio 
based around a Purify 1 ET 400A module. These are Class D monoblocks, lightly modified. Speakers are DIY and use Jordan Econa 2 full range driver. The speakers decouple from the stands. Digital is handled by a topping E30 with a DIY linear power supply. The DAC is only used for TV. The cabling is all DIY and uses KLE Perfect Harmony plugs and sockets. <laughs> the furry friend is Bonnie. Thank you, Nathan. <laughs> All right, we are back. My name is Steve Guttenberg. I am the Audiophiliac, and yes, this has been another April Fool's show. Uh, a matter of fact, I've done this for the last couple of years. I'm going to make an Audio Fools playlist of all the other shows that I've done. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for going along with this. I hope you got a chuckle or two out of it. So if you enjoy the show, uh, for the reviews, for the viewer systems of the day, for the interviews, all of that, please consider joining my Patreon to do so. Super easy to do. The address is on the screen right now. And you could join for a couple of bucks a month, up to uh, 50 or even $100 a month. And at those top two tiers, you and I will have a conversation every month at the beginning of the month. And what else? If you like a show, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have yet to subscribe, to the Audiophiliac show, please do so. And with that, I can say my work here is at last complete. Thank you again for watching. Hope to see you back here again very, very soon. Bye-bye.